Hey everyone, how's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, I got a 2019 uh, Ford Edge and I'm not making a video on what I just did to this thing. I just replaced the transmission. It's an all-wheel drive, two-liter turbo. And I can honestly tell you, this was the worst transmission r, &R I've ever done in my life. Wow. <laughs> it was not fun. Anyway, I mean, you got to take I think there was one bolt left holding the motor in place. I should have just pulled the motor and everything else out at the same time because it, what a nightmare. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about here. What I want to talk about is engineer's stupidity. I just, I, it, I, I get amazed constantly at the stupidity of engineers. I want to show you something that I noticed while working on this vehicle. Now this vehicle only has 70,000 miles, so the fact that it needed a transmission to me is just amazing. Um, there was just so much in the way to gain access to the transmission up top is just insane. But anyway, I digress. What I want to talk about is this. What engineers do sometimes just blows my mind. But check this out. I have the lift set up here and I just want to show you something. So as you see, we have a lift point right here. You know, and up front here, I wound up having to use blocks of wood because I had to get space between because of these plates because I had to lower down the whole subframe. But now they put these underbody sh shields on here, like to silence or you know, absorb noise or whatever, or maybe aer aerodynamics, I have no idea. But check this out. There's a module right there, right there, okay? It's right here. underneath here. What are the chances of somebody getting a flat tire somewhere and you pull into a repair shop or maybe a good Samaritan or whatever who has a floor jack with them and they're like, oh, we're just going to jack up the side and they misplaced the jack a little bit. Don't have to go too far. Just got to go right here. Rock panel's here. What if they accidentally went here? What if the jack slipped and went here? And guess what? You just crushed that module that's right there. Plus, underneath the vehicle, if you catch anything, you hit anything on the road, it's going to tear this off. These things are already damaged from hitting things. But I mean, to me, why not place that on the inside of the vehicle? Why to the outside? It makes no sense to me. It makes none whatsoever. I don't know. If you ask me, you're asking for a problem doing what the engineers did there. But whatever. It, to me, it's just stupid, but I'm not an engineer. If I was, things would probably cost ten times as much because I'd look for ways to make things easier. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully you're getting something out of my videos. If you are, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching.